In this video we'll be looking at Windows Longhorn build 3718. This build was compiled on the 19th of November 2002, as you can see in the build string here. I've not shown the setup process and I've not shown the login screen because they're identical to those of the last build. Um, this video altogether will be quite short because there's only really one main thing I want to show you in this build and it's probably one of the more interesting things about the Longhorn builds where this is available and that's the desktop composition engine and I believe this is the first build that was leaked that contains the desktop composition engine in a functional form so I'll show that to you in a moment firstly just to illustrate the similarities between this build and the last one a difference that you will hopefully notice is that when you go to control panel in this build you get a category view like this as opposed to the traditional icon by icon view um, now interestingly I can't find a way to actually get back to the classic view of the control panel because when you press other control panel options nothing happens it just goes to this page and there's nothing there so I can't actually get out of this category view these view buttons up here are all disabled so you can't use those either now the control panel options themselves I believe are also identical to those of the last build um, I'll just show, show you a few things so this is appearance and themes and you see you can choose one of these options and it'll take you straight to the display properties control panel or dialog box should I say other than that there's nothing else remarkable there at all really the Plex theme is exactly the same same sidebar, same options and all of this as well. Uh, so let's show the desktop composition engine. Now this is, as I say, the most interesting thing about this build, I think. Now, in order for me to show you this, um, I've had to use a specific version of VMware and I've had to use a specific display driver. Um, and I do have to extend my thanks to um, a member of uh, Beta Archive who gave me this information because what I was originally intended on doing was installing this on some real hardware to show you the uh, DCE effects. Um, however, when I tried when I tried installing this on my um, XP era laptop, it was blue screening every time at the end of setup, so it wasn't really getting anywhere. So I started looking at if there was a way to actually do this in a virtual machine, and there is, but you have to get, like I say, a specific version of VMware. It's got to be VMware. You have to get a specific display driver, and even then it's not um, like you don't, you don't get the best result, but I've been led to believe that apparently these are the best results that you can get, apparently, and I'll explain a little bit more about what I mean in a minute. So first of all, I've got to put hardware acceleration back up because I've had to turn it down. So hardware acceleration is now turned on. So I'll just show you how you actually enable the DCE effects in this build. So you go to display properties, click advanced, and then in this dialog box you've got this option called desktop compositing. And there are three options. There's either disable, which it is by default, there's enable on system startup, and there's allow dynamic control. Now if you put the check in this box, allow dynamic control, this button then allows you to turn on and off the DCE effects. Now the button's a little bit buggy, sometimes you have to press it numerous times before anything happens, sometimes it'll happen straight away, so let's have a go. Now I got lucky that time and it's happened straight away. Um, the reason I can tell that, which hopefully you can now notice yourselves, is that these windows are now transparent and I can see the window behind this one with that transparency. Now unfortunately it's a little bit buggy you get some strange black boxes that appear around the mouse pointer for example which you can see there the um, window borders are not looking extremely good either but functional and also when you get a balloon tip the same thing happens you get a massive black box around it which makes it look really ugly unfortunately so I'll just demonstrate some of the transparency so I'll just drag this box over here and if you keep your eye on the recycle bin icon you can see that bleeding through there now interestingly if I just put the icon in the middle hold on let's try that again I can't seem to move that now let me try something a little bit different you 
Now, if you keep your eye on the My Computer window, I'm going to take this one and move it in front of it. Now, have a look closely at this window, and you can see that the transparency effect actually encompasses the entire dialog box. It's not just the window borders like it is in Vista and 7. It's actually the entire dialog box that is transparent. Hopefully you noticed then when I closed it, there was also a little animation effect. So I'll do the same thing with this window for you to have another look. There you go. So those animations, you also get them when you minimize a window. So let me just show you. So that's the minimize effect. There is no maximize effect and there's no restore effect, but like I showed you, there is also a close effect. And those animations are really there to demonstrate the power of the desktop composition engine. I don't believe they're actually meant to be um, sort of animations that were meant to be in the RTM build of Longhorn, uh, but they were just there to show the effects and how this kind of thing worked in a really obvious way. So just to go back to the transparency, Every window is entirely transparent, and that's not just dialog boxes, that's even explorer windows like this. So if you look at these windows, you can see them through each other. If I go to some folder in this one that's got files in it, let's just show some files. So let's go to sample pictures. I've got those there. I'm just going to turn this details pane off. Let's make them nice and big. There you go. So now I'll go back to recycle bin. And hopefully you can see that you can see them through this window. It's a very, very slight transparency effect. So really, like I said, quite a short video for this build. That's all really that that's different about this one and I really wanted to show you that because I think it is possibly uh, the most interesting thing about these long con builds is the early kind of desktop composition effects and uh, all the different bits that that came into being and uh, left again hastily so uh, in some of the later builds there are a few more different things that I can show you with the desktop composition but for now in this build that's it essentially so um, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, relatively short video in the series. If you liked it, then please press the red subscribe button below the video to be notified when the next episode is uploaded, and I will see you next time.